I think there is a real chance that some of this water has been leaking. The basement um, is not designed to contain large amounts of water and uh, during the emergency cooling they have been putting huge amounts of water into the reactor building um, and uh, invariably I think some of the pipes have, will have failed as a consequence of the earthquake and water will have seeped into the soil around there and ultimately from the soil into the sea. And uh, Mr Kennedy, what and how long, in your opinion, is it going to take uh, to achieve a coal shutdown at Fukushima? Um, look, the reactors will remain hot for about another six months. So they've got at least six months of which, during which time they have to maintain active cooling of the reactor. Uh, reactor 1 is the problem, but there's the three reactors that were operating when the tsunami hit. They need to get active cooling of all three reactors for about six months. Once they've done that, then they should be able to look very seriously at relocating some of the fuel from the reactors. Um, unfortunately, some fuel clearly has melted, and that's going to be very challenging for them to remove. But to then remove some of the fuel from the reactors into the standard storage ponds. Okay, thank you very much. It's going to be difficult. No one's done it before. Uh, it's going to be very difficult indeed, and it has been for the last few months. Thank you very much, Brendan Kennedy, nuclear chemist, joining us there live from uh, Sydney to discuss the uh, situation in Japan there.